that's my house burning down. Whole house is gone, all my data, all my everything. I'm not gonna get anything back. All my computer equipment, my camera equipment, obviously all my drone stuff. It's all gone. And we just moved house, I don't even know if we have any insurance sorted out yet. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, I feel so sick. Hey guys, so the video you just watched is not photoshopped <laughs> or the video equivalent of photoshopped. That is real. Uh, that is actually a good friend of mine, Justin Power, aka Snake FPV. Uh, his house caught on fire, not due to a lipo, due to a malfunctioning old TV that short circuited. There was no known problems with it, it just short circuited randomly. Caught the house on fire, um, burned every single thing that Justin owned. So why am why am I telling you this? I, I you ask. Um, so I'm actually pretty uncomfortable asking for handouts, and I know Justin is extremely uncomfortable asking for handouts as well. But I feel like this is necessary. So Justin, to kind of give you a backstory, uh, Justin has I've known Justin for about three years now through YouTube. Um, he, he was like one of the first people that was commenting on my YouTube videos as Old Snake um, and then he ended up changing his uh, name to S Snake FPV. We thought he was some old random dude from Australia but he ends up being a pretty young dude from Australia that's really cool. So um, he's commenting on my videos, I ended up chatting with him, we kind of became good friends through it, like an internet relationship. Uh, he ended up coming over here uh, about a month ago now and stayed with me for two weeks, well not necessarily a month, not even that. Came over here, stayed for stayed with me for about two weeks uh, because I wanted to involve him in ethics and I needed to meet him before um, I had him involved in a business venture of what I'm doing. So anyways, he came over, stayed with me for two weeks, stayed in my apartment, we became really good friends, kind of like solidified what I already thought was going to be a cool uh, friendship. Then he ended up going back. He went back to Australia. Uh, he was there for less than three days and just before he came over here he had moved houses so he had not set up his homeowner's insurance or his renter's insurance to his new house when he left because he was rushed to get over here blah 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 he got back a couple days after he got back he goes out to walk his dog turns around the house is on fire he goes in and tries to save some stuff the house is too far gone it's too much fire for him to go in and legitimately save anything without uh, risking life. So, unfor uh, well, fortunately, no one was injured in the fire, but an extreme amount of uh, personal belongings, i.e., everything Snake owned, um, is gone. So, with that being said, there was about $75,000 worth of gear in the house that was a mixture of camera gear, 40 plus terabytes of footage, um, and just personal. Uh, data that uh, Justin had been accumulating over the like years of his life uh, computer gear camera gear drone gear all of that was lost including all of his clothes everything he owns all of it's done literally the only thing he has is his car the shirt shoes and pants he was wearing the day of the incident so uh, I, I'm, I'm asking you guys I'm going out of my comfort zone to try to make a video to kind of convey what happened to a good friend of mine and try to ask you guys if you're willing to help you can uh, and I'm asking you to please help Justin get off the ground again because he had just recently quit his job to pursue a career in this industry uh, working with me under ethics and also working with, at TBS or Team Black Sheep um, as a full-time employee there and he had literally just done that a couple days before this happened. So he quit something that he did not like and was making decent money to take on a career in something that he loves to do for a pay cut, but now he has nothing left. Uh, I know that there have been a lot of people that have donated gear to him already, like for example, Team Black Sheep, Fly Duino, the guys that make KISS stuff. Um, Impulse RC and HQ Zong Zong at, at HQ have all sent him uh, like care packages and thank you guys very much that was extremely helpful and he's very close to getting back in the air but that doesn't really help him in the sense of that he has nowhere to stay, nowhere to live, no clothes, no 
camera gear to continue doing what his previous job was, which was wedding photography. Um, like he had some serious camera gear in there, probably 40,000 of that 75,000 was camera gear, all completely burnt up. He found one sensor from a camera. So all of that is gone. Um, but if you want to help and you feel like, don't feel obligated, but if you will, if you want to help, um, there is a link in the description below to a GoFundMe. You can go there. All of the proceeds go directly to Snake. It's in his name. Um, try to help him get off the ground. I know that there is a video that uh, Thomas and Paul Bitmata of BMS Web have just recently put up, but that will be linked in the description below. That actually is an interview between them and Snake, or just, I call him Snake, Justin Power, um, talking about the incident from his perspective. And again, like I, I'm uncomfortable doing this and I know Justin is very uncomfortable talking or asking for handouts. So I wanted, I felt obligated to do this for a friend of mine. So if you want to help, there's that way where you can donate directly to the GoFundMe or if you really uh, want to do it in another way, there is a guy named Florian Le Priol. I am hopefully saying that correct. He is a friend of mine that I've made through Facebook and he is a phenomenal artist and he's been drawing things and sketching things for uh, myself and Rotor Riot for a long time, um, for the last probably two years. And I've had him do personal projects of mine and all kinds of stuff in the last six months. But I asked him specifically if he would help out with a design that I had to create a t-shirt. And he said, yeah, sure, whatever, Just tell me what you want. So. We ended up coming up with this really cool design of it's like a, a snake kind of on fire like dying and then there's a phoenix rising from it and it looks super super cool we're going to actually put that graphic onto a t-shirt and put it up on the team failsafe website so if you guys are interested in that all of the proceeds from that t-shirt and that graphic design um, by florian will go directly to uh, snake so or justin so that is kind of the gist of the story the gist of why I'm making this video is literally just to tell you guys, inform you of what what has happened to a really good friend of mine and also a really cool person that creates phenomenal content and is not only a very good pilot, but a really good dude. And I just hate to see people go through stuff like this, especially in not having insurance or anything like that to be able to, like they're basically starting from scratch. Like they were here, burned, done, all of it gone, starting super low again, no money, nothing, just savings, whatever they had saved up for, you know, retirement, they're probably going to have to use to get back, um, even just living again. So again, please, if you want to donate anything, don't feel obligated to, but if you, if you really would like to, it would help Justin out. I know uh, there's a link in the description below, go fund me. And also if you want to share, like, and comment on this video, if, if, if you want to comment and tell me a story about some experience that you, you've had that you've learned from, I read all the comments every night before I go to sleep. I sit there and scroll through every single comment that came in that day. So if you want to read, or if you want me to read something that has happened to you, that I love learning from other people's experiences and listening to other people's stories. So if you want to do that, that would be phenomenal. Again, share and like this video to try to get it out to as many people as possible. Because if you personally can't help, there might be someone else that if you share the video, they can. So thank you guys very much for supporting me, watching my content. I know I'll be putting out content sporadically over the next two weeks because I'm actually going to Florida in a van, in, in my van to go uh, learn how to paramotor um, from Aviator PPG. Um, in uh, Lake Wells, Florida, and I will be there for the next two weeks doing that. So videos will be coming out sporadic, but again, they will be coming out and I really appreciate you guys um, supporting me. If you want to keep up with me directly, like uh, Instagram story and Instagram is like where I put stuff like on like live every single day. Uh, my Instagram is Mr. Steel FPV if you're curious about that and learning about me paramotoring um, and I'll be putting videos up about that as well. But the whole video, this whole purpose of this video was to talk about Justin and if you wanted to help him. So I hope you can, I hope you will, and thank you guys very much. Have a good evening or day.
Cause it's a